If you've put in the work and learn how to code, built some projects for your portfolio and have been doing interviews, but, but it's been about three to six months and you still haven't gotten a job offer or even gotten far in the interview process yet, then this video is for you because I'm going to be telling you the one key to getting a job as a software engineer that you don't really hear people talk about often. My name is TJ and I help beginners like you learn to code and prepare for the job search while providing technical insights to help you on your coding journey. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and support this channel by liking this video. Now the biggest mistake that beginners make when learning to code is not practicing talking out loud about the code they're writing and being able to actually explain that code to someone else. So much of your time as a beginner is spent just learning the different technologies then trying to build projects for your portfolio and you think that after you build projects that it's now time to start applying for a job and that's not really the case. The interview process is assessing one thing but in two different ways. The one thing the interview process is assessing is do you know how to code? Like do you actually know how to build software? And the two ways that they're assessing whether or not you actually know how to code is by first giving you some kind of coding challenge or project to do and seeing if you're able to actually build a working solution. After that, they have you walk them through the solution you built where they assess your understanding of the code by how you explain it and answer any follow-up questions that they have about it. And for a lot of beginners, this is a rude awakening because this is their first time in a situation where they have to actually talk out loud and explain their code to someone else. And that's what trips a lot of people up in the interview process, uh, especially coding bootcamp students, because online bootcamps and even in-person bootcamps don't really work on this since you spend the majority of your time in the bootcamp just learning different technologies and building projects. And you do not want the interview process to be the first time that you're actually explaining your code to someone else. Because if you actually think about it from the interviewer's perspective, because I've actually interviewed a lot of engineers, and just because you turn in a project doesn't mean I'm confident that you actually know how to code. Because I don't know if you actually wrote the code that you turned in. It could have been something that you copied off a YouTube video or that you got from somewhere else online. So the only way I can really assess your understanding is by having you walk me through the code by explaining to me what's happening in the logic that you wrote, right? Like explain your logic to me. Because if you can't explain the code that you wrote, then it looks like you didn't actually write the code or you don't really understand what you're doing, which is why you're having a hard time explaining it. Like the saying goes, if you can't explain something to a child, then you don't understand it well enough and that's the approach that you have to take here. This is why building projects is so important because when you build projects, and I tell you, like I tell my students, you need to be able to explain to me every single line of code in your project. If you wrote the code, you need to be able to explain it. And when I ask you follow up questions as well, you should be able to answer those. That's why you can't just copy someone else's code and try to turn it in as your own. Because if you don't understand how that code is working, then you're going to have a hard time fixing errors when they pop up. And, and, and trust me, they will pop up. Because being a software engineer is about problem solving. And if you don't understand the different technologies and programming logic that you're writing, then you're going to struggle when it comes to problem solving. Some of my students try to rush through the project sometimes because, you know, like school teaches us to prioritize finishing something and just completing the work because it makes us feel like we actually accomplished something. But I always push back and remind them that Look, like you finishing the project isn't really what I care about the most. The thing that I care about the most is your understanding and whether or not you actually understand what you're doing as you're writing code. And the only way that I can really assess this is by having them walk me through their projects and solutions. So if you're trying to get a job as a software engineer, once you start doing practice problems and projects, schedule at least 30 minutes to an hour a week to practice explaining your code out loud. Even if you have to pretend to talk to someone else, like it still helps. When you're practicing explaining your code, don't just read the code word for word verbatim, but focus on explaining the why behind the code actually being there, right? Like focus on summarizing things. 
because as your interviewer, like I see the code in front of me, so I don't need you to read the code out loud verbatim to me, but I need you to explain to me why you wrote that code and what the purpose of it is and how it relates to the rest of the logic. To give you an example of this, here's a recent mentor session I did with one of my students where I was showing him how I would explain the solution to one of the algorithm problems that he wrote the code for. But before I get into that, support my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Also, if you're struggling with coming up with project ideas, check the description down below to receive the first three projects that I give to the students in my coding and career prep program. Now, here's a clip of me showing one of my students how I would explain their code. So let's say that I'm explaining this code to you and you haven't seen this code before because that, that's how you should be trying to explain this. It is always good to just first tell me what you're trying to do, right? So the goal in this function is to write a function that removes duplicate items from an array. So I am defining a function called remove duplicates and this function takes in an array that I'm saving in my parameter called ARR. Right. And the first thing that I do in this function is that I create an empty array called unique values array. And this is where I'm going to be storing all of my unique values as I'm looping through the array passed into this function. So now in my loop, I'm checking to see if my unique values array doesn't already include this value, then I push it into that unique values array because the only values that should be in my unique values are values that are unique, you know, like yeah. that are not already in that array. And then once my loop uh, is, is done looping, I then return my unique values array, which includes all of the unique values inside of the array that was passed in. Do you see like the, like the difference there? Yeah. Yeah. Way more uh, confident saying it than I am. <laughs> well, well, so I mean, apart from like the confidence, was it like clearer and easier for you to like understand? Yeah, it was easier to follow. So that comes from you kind of just really spending time making sure that you fully understand everything that's happening in this code and basically just trying to summarize everything, you know, and keep just keeping it simple and talking about the why so do, do you see how you know i i kind of focus more so on like why i was writing something because you know so obviously i can see that the code is there right but the thing is i don't understand why you wrote it so that is part of what you have to include in these explanations right like so really work on really making it simple but explaining it you know explaining why i why i made this code yeah, I mean, because like this is code that you wrote and I have no clue what your thought process was. This is probably like the most important part of the interview process as well, because it's like I don't have any clue if you actually wrote this code or not. You know, this this is something that you could have gotten online somewhere and just copy paste it. So the only way that I'll actually know if you know how to code and if you know what you're talking about is if you're able to explain it to me and actually answer questions that I ask you about it. All right, so hope you took a lot from that video. Um, I don't want all your hard work to go in vain, so make sure that you're practicing explaining your code out loud and taking the time to make sure you fully understand each line of code that you write. And always support my channel by liking this video and comment below to let me know what you thought.